it's working guys look at that we already have produced automatically produced four pulsar crystals <laughs> that is so freaking cool i love it Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, um, we are going to continue uh, with our advancement here. Uh, we have some fish crom eggs, which look like that. Kind of cool looking purple fish. Um, let's get... Those are 200% multiplier eggs. Um, what are we... What are our current fish multiplier... They are 400%. Okay, let's put these in there for the moment. They're swimming sideways. Uh, but do we have some more of the, the wild fish eggs, which seem to have a better multiplier than the ones we can make? No. Okay, so we'll just pull the plankton out of there and let that keep doing its thing. I didn't uh, get the butterfly larvae switched over. It is on the to-do list. All right, so put those plankton in there. We have, we have, oh, we have three different kinds of plankton. Ah, okay, so we have C, B, and A. Interesting, okay. Um, we never did our storage chip in the last episode. I forgot to do that. Let's do it. All right. Blueprint received locker storage tier two. So what, what do we need to... Here we go. Okay, let's pin that. We need a super, a circuit, and a, and a super. Two super, supers and a circuit board. All right, let's put this down. Let's just put it here for the moment. I, I just want to see what it's all about. Okay, so it's just got a shit ton more slots. I was kind of thinking, you know... Um, in, let's see, what was the game? Pacific Drive. I played Pacific Drive. I did a playthrough of that not too long ago. And they had a, a storage container that basically be, was an infinite kind of thing where you could store, uh, you know, where it, it supposedly stored things underground for you kind of thing. Um, but that's apparently not this. But this still probably uses some kind of funky compression technology. Just kind of looking at it. It's really cool looking, actually. <laughs> It's awesome. Um, okay. So let's see. What do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have 80 slots in one of these compared to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, uh, 35. So this has more than twice the storage space in it. That is awesome. Okay, so um, they're not incredibly expensive to make. Well, until we run out of circuit boards, that is. What uh, what do we need to make a circuit board? Uh, we probably do that in this crafting station. I mean, you know, even that's not incredibly expensive they have a trade value of 25 tokens if we ever wanted to do a production chain in the a future our future series um okay well i think what i'm gonna do for now is we'll just use this for overflow and <clears throat> I, I i'll be honest with you i probably will not redo all of my storage I, w I certainly would if, you know, if, if we were going to continue this series a little bit longer. But since we're trying to wrap it up, I probably won't do that. 
but you know we'll see we shall see okay so what's next on the agenda let's take a look at our numbers here we're 37 percent on the way to the amphibian stage uh, we gave ourselves a massive heat boost in the last episode um i don't think we've ever come across heat fuses and i don't believe i have the ability to make fuses so we can't you know we had the pressure fuses so we boosted our pressure huh okay well let's kind of determine what we're going to work on based upon what we want next here and so just general terraformation when we get to two oh we're getting close when we get to 250 on that um that'll unlock the portal generator which we can use to do procedural wrecks uh which should yield uh, a lot of a good loot for us i i so love that they added that into the game because you know on the basic map once you've looted all the wrecks that's it they don't they don't respawn um so apparently I, I mean i don't know what the lore is behind this but apparently it allows you to go to different places uh, either on the same planet or somewhere else other planets uh to continue salvaging so i love i really like how they've extended the end game experience by that um all right so we want to get to this guys and that's going to be 15 plants so we're well on our way so we could boost plants um, which will also then contribute to biomass, which will get us to the T5 drill, which we want, and better fish eggs, and this really cool-looking big aquarium. And, um, yeah, that's all just extra egg stuff. So, yeah, I think we focus on getting to this gas extractor, too. But I'm not going to let that delay me from... Uh, from getting started with our, our quartz, Pulsar Quartz production chain. Um, which will probably be the only significant production chain we're going to do in this series. Let's take a look at our power. Okay, so we're at 1,200 power there. Another drone station is going to cost us almost all of that power. Damn, that thing's expensive. But we have the means to pretty easily make more fusion generators so that's not really a problem per se um right okay so let's get stuff to build what kind of storm is this uh just a normal storm it still hasn't sent me any uh any more quartz crystal meteors kind of bites but it's not really that big of a problem right now though so let's actually drink that and while we're thinking about it we'll top our food off too all right so i'm gonna see if we can set this up with one of these four by four buildings and so Let's unpin that. And we'll gather the stuff we need for this. I'm gonna... Yeah, let's just take... Since we have the teleporters, we don't have to take all the shit over there that we ultimately need. Just to, enough to get the building set up initially. We're gonna need two supers. And we're going to also need, of course, a door. So that means we need a silicon, another titanium, and another iron. All right. Let's go. Let's go get the building set up first. Where's my... Uh, here it is. Let's do a save. Pulsar production. All right, so we're going to set up the building just on the shore here. 
Can we... Yeah, it's only going to rotate at 90 degrees. So that's fine. We'll just... Maybe do it right... There. Uh... I mean, it would it would have been nice if we could have just put it, you know, parallel with the shore, but it doesn't look like it's going to let that happen. Let, let us do that. Very good. All right, let's move this inside. We'll put it in the same corner that the other one was at uh, in our lakeside base. All right, now. <clears throat> I think the next thing we want to do is set up a drone station here. Let's grab um, an iron. Where the hell's the stairs? There it is. Digging that. Okay, here. That works. All right. Um, let's unpin this and let's pin a new drone station. And we'll, of course, have to go back to the main base to get all the materials for that thing. Oh. Hold on. Let's rename this again. Um, Pulsar Production. There we go. So, okay, so we have, um, we have 1,200 power. That's going to take 10. So we have enough to, to make that, but then we're going to have to make another uh, fusion generator anyway. So we might as well just do that right now. Um, I've been doing this enough that you think I'd have, have it memorized by now. Let's pin that. So we need one, uh, five each of those things. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Three, four, five. And we need five methane. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And four supers. Okay. Um, now we need to gather all of the stuff for the drone station. Um, so let's start by the fusion cell, which is three more pulsar crystals, two Oz's, and an obsidian. A 
Okay, so we need three more of these for three pulsars. Three more of these. Three more of these. Uh, iridium. Might have to break a couple rods down here pretty soon. And methane. Gives us the fusion cell. We need three circuit boards. Um, an Oz rod. And a super rod. Okay, that's enough to make our drone station. Let's go get that set up next. off cut it out I think we want to turn that this way all right what you're acting weird man knock that off it, oh you know what it doesn't want to go uh, it doesn't want to go right in the center which is kind of what I wanted to do We might be able to make it to do that if we put some foundations down. Well, maybe it's these... Is it these guys that's causing the trouble? Hmm, I don't think so, but here, let's try it again. Oh, maybe it was... Uh, uh. Yeah, it doesn't like the seams there. And I've got the damn thing backwards. Of course I do. Can we put it like right here? Yeah, I guess that'll work. Because we'll come up here. Yeah, that should be okay. Um, just for decorative purposes, it might be kind of fun to put one of these up here, too. Silicon, titanium, iron, and... Oh, you know what? We're not going to get an aluminum anywhere nearby, unless a meteorite dropped it. Yeah, I'm not seeing one. I'm not going to worry about it, then. That, I, I, I would have just done that for decoration anyway. Okay, now, uh, to craft a drone, we need that stuff. So let's pin this. Except for, I'm going to want... I'm going to want at least... Uh, what are we doing? We're making... We're producing quartz crystals, right? Okay, so we need to think about... We need to think about that. Let's go back to the waterfall base. And let's just look at this. Okay, so we need a, we should have a drone delivering the four ore, so we need four drones. And at least one delivering the methane. No. Because we can set the methane up at the base and have the um, extra uh, the auto crafter pull directly from it, so we don't need a drone for that. So we really just need four drones to make this happen. Um, okay, so I think an auto crafter is the next thing we want to set up then. So we have a place for the drone to bring the stuff to. So that's an Oz and a, uh, two Oz's and a super. Okay, so that'll get us our auto crafter. 
Uh, let's also set up the gas extractor. So three supers, two ZOs, and an iridium. Um, the thing, though, that I'm concerned about is what if it makes ni more nitrogen than methane? How do we deal with that? I suppose we could have either a drone or an auto crafter. Well, probably a drone. Pull the nitrogen out and deliver it somewhere else. That's probably how we have to deal with that, I think. All right, let's get the three supers that that needs. And an iridium rod. We'll go get those those things set up first. Let's get our food topped off. You know what, too? Um, let's make an, let's also make one of these. So we have some storage at that base. So two more sup supers and a circuit board. So, oh, we wanted an aluminum anyways for the, for the dish. Let's grab a bean, top off our food. Okay, so let's head back and we'll set this stuff in place. I think I want to put the auto crafter, which is here. All right, let's put it all the way in the corner so it has maximum reach for gas extractors. Can we put these in the water? No, we can't. Okay. So we'll line up the extractor right there. We may end up putting multiples of these in. I, it's it's too bad we couldn't tell it not to do nitrogen. I'm, I'm just going to drop all these guys. Uh, let's also set up a storage. Uh, we'll put that right by the door. Okay, so... Um, I mean, if nothing else, we can assign a drone to just pull nitrogen out of here and put it in here. So that way it keeps having a chance to produce methane. Um, and maybe, you know, may, we might need to get two of those going too. It just depends upon how fast this, this happens, I guess. We'll start with, you know, we'll start with one machine each and then, you know, we'll watch the production and we'll adjust it as we go. Okay, so that means we need a total of five drones. Um, I'm just going to call this nitrogen. Um, we're going to set this to pulsar crystals. So that's set up. That's interesting that it'll pick up larva on the ground. Huh. Okay, this is also going to be uh, 
Uh, do we set up... I guess we set up Aura's demand on this, because it can't pull Aura directly. Right. Okay, so... Um, so we want... Osmium. We want Uranium. We want Zeolite. We want Iridium. Those are our four ores, right? I'm pretty sure. Okay. So that way the drone knows that it needs to bring those ores to this machine. The thing is, though, is should I have a separate storage bin for these? I don't know. Um, it should pull the gas automatically. So I don't think we need to set up the gas as a demand. Oh, you know what we do need to do, though? Yeah, we need a drone pulling the quartz crystal out of here and putting it into a storage. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, we're just going to start with the one storage, and then, like I said, I'll adjust as, uh, as things go. Okay, so this then needs to become a demand for pulsar quartz and also for nitrogen cartridges. Okay. You can see you can also set up priorities too, I guess, if you have multiple storages. Uh, grabbing multiple devices. All right. Let's pull that out of there. We wanted to uh, set up our communication antenna for Deco. Silicon, titanium, iron. this right uh, in the corner there there just for funsies not necessary but we're doing it anyway okay now we need to craft five drones four for the ores and one to pull the nitrogen out of the thingamadoodle and we've got the we already got the drones pinned so let's go back to the main base and get the stuff for five of those how are we doing by the way 42 percent okay good So one, two, three, four, five rockets. Uh, that looks like uranium. Oh, no, no, no. Those are circuit boards. Okay. One, two, three, four, five circuit boards and just five iron. That's easy peasy. One, two, three, four, five. This is fun, man. Um, I, I was thinking that, you know, you start this game off, right, and it's it's a barren planet, and your first concern for a very large part of the game is just making it livable, but then once you make it livable, the game's not over by any stretch of the imagination. There's so much cool end-game content to this game um, that it almost turns into more of a factory builder you know, a production line type of thing uh, just to keep you going, you know, uh, on it for a while. I just absolutely love that. I know I keep telling you guys that, but this game is just amazing. Okay, let's go back to Pulsar production. Um, let's go make the drones. Um, okay, so how does this work with multiple... See, I thought this would be a whole separate thingy. I, I didn't think it would have this stuff involved with it. 
It doesn't look like our other our, our original drone's doing anything too. I probably needed to reset something with that. Okay, well let's um let's go here. Uh I can't I can't this assign uh, assign a specific drone to a specific thing, can I? Or can I? Hmm. So this is already set up to demand these two products. And this is set up to demand the ore. We need to set it as a supplier of... Oh, there we go. We got the portal generator. Nice. We need to set up as a supplier of crystals so that the drones know to come here and grab them out of here. And for that matter, uh, this needs to be a supplier of nitrogen. Oh, the drones are already going for it. Okay, so I guess we don't... We can't pick and choose which drone does what. Apparently, it just it just does its thing. So if we go to each one of our ore extractors and set those up now as suppliers, then that these drones should just kick in and start doing their thing. That's the theory. Let's try it. Come on, drink. Um, I do have water and food, right? Okay. All right, let's run over to the uranium place first. So it seems to me like if we can't assign a specific drone to a specific task, you just need to know how many tasks you have. So let's say we have 10 tasks and we need to make sure we have 10 drones to cover those tasks. Seems to me like that's the way this works. I think. <laughs> I, we'll figure we'll figure it out. Um, where's our uranium cave at? Here it is. Okay. All right. So we want to set you up as a supply for uranium. Ah, look at that. All the drones are coming. How interesting. Okay. I'm loving this. <laughs> this is so cool. I, you know, we're kind of getting our satisfactory vibe on here now. I wonder if we'll see them coming over here. They might, they might just like pass all the way underground since they can, you know, clip through the terrain. I think that's a really smart move on the devs part to do that too because then they don't have to build in any logic for them to try and navigate the terrain. They just go from point A to point B. It doesn't matter what's in their way. And all that stuff. Yep, they're all out on delivery, man. Okay, so, um, did I, I didn't put that in there, did I? Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't think I did. All right, let's go, let's go do the other, uh, extractors now. We want to go through here. So, yeah, again, in terms of passages, like, you know, I, I figured they would use this passage to get around, but I don't think we need to worry about that. I think that's completely irrelevant for the drones. Go over to the Iridium first. And we want to set this up as... A supplier of iridium. Okay. Then we'll do the other two. Uh, the zeolite and the osmium.
Now, if the auto crafter doesn't um, take these directly, and it might not, we might have to set up a, a chest to store to initially store the ore in. Uh, plus, the advantage of doing that is we have a buffer too, because we're not going to have a buffer if we go directly into the auto crafter. But let's just kind of see what it does. If it can keep up with it, then it's not an issue, but we might need a buffer. I do like Satisfactory, too. I've done a couple of uh, series on it, but I've never been able to stick with it towards the end because it just gets so complicated later on. Um, I mean, I, I, I could and probably should make an effort to do... Oh, here they come. Look at that. I'll make an effort to do that. But, um, yeah, I just haven't to date. Okay, I think I see a problem here. Yep, that's the problem. Okay, so we can't have, <clears throat> excuse me, we can't have the drones put the ore in here. We're, we're going to have to create a buffer, which makes sense, you know. Um, I mean, we could even make this the buffer for now. Um... So, yeah, okay, let's make this a buffer. So this demands these ores. We're missing uh, iridium. No, no, no. Demands, not supplies. I do, I do enjoy Satisfactory, though, but like I said, it just... If for my brain anyways <laughs> it gets really complex later on okay so that means then that the drones should put the ores in here and we need to remove this uh here right okay now let's take the these ore and put them in here that should work i think So this is supplying, but it's not demanding. Right. Okay, let's just um, chillax for a bit and see what happens. All of the drones are out working. And it could it may be that we should add more drones to this too. Um, you know, it's going to take them a while. It's going to take a while for the system to prime, so to speak, because that happens in Satisfactory, too. You have to kind of prime the system um, and then fine-tune it until it's at full production. Uh, you don't want you don't want extra drones sitting around not doing anything. I mean, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but it would sort of kind of be less efficient. So you want the drones moving all the time and everything just... Oh, look at them all going that way. Right through the cliff, too, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it looks like they're all going after the iridium, and they should have dropped that in the chest, which they did. Most likely, we're gonna we're gonna need another one of these, but we'll just start with one, and we'll we'll kind of see how the flow goes. Now, the other thing we could do, if we just built more drones is we could just bring the quartz crystals all the way back to the waterfall base. Um, so that's a possibility as well. It's just going to... I want, I'm curious to see how fast these guys are um, compared to how fast I can move. So when they take off again, we'll chase one and see if we can keep pace with it or if it outpaces us. Now, there's there are Tier 2 drones as well, so I don't know if that means they have, you know, more capacity. Oh, no, we're faster than these guys. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. Um, I don't know if the Tier 2, you know, can bring more stuff or if it's faster, but we'll find out, of course, when the time comes. So are they just focusing on Iridium right now? Yeah, because I put the Uranium in there. Let 
Well, again, it's it's like a primer thing. Um, eventually, they'll empty the iridium out, and it won't completely fill up before all of the drones are available again. So then they'll start going over to the osmium and to the zeolite. That's what I think is going to happen. But uh, yeah, let's just let's just run with this quantity for now, and I'm going to give it some time. And if I feel like we're not operating at maximum efficiency. We'll build some more drones and throw more drones in the mix. Now, the other thing, the other thing we could do is we could build a bunch of extra drones just to get everything going, um, and then reduce the number of drones later if we if we have an excess because they're not that expensive to make. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's let's at least use the rest of the circuit boards and rocket engines that we currently have. And just throw a few more in the mix here. Now, how is that affecting our drone here at the base? Um, I'll bet you that one's in on the action, too. It is. <laughs> um... So that kind of begs the question, do we even need two drone stations? I mean, it's going to take it a little bit of time to get over there, but once it's over there, it'll just stay over there and keep working. But has that affected our little production line over here? I mean, it probably has. But that I kind of broke that anyway. Um, you don't need drones at all. Yeah, see, nothing's picking. Those are supplying. Did I not set this back up to be a demand? Maybe that's what the problem is. I thought I did. Oh, that's the problem. I forgot to enable this. Duh. Okay, I think we have to take them out and put them back in to get it to go. All right, that's what the problem was. Um, Yeah, because I, I did put a demand on there. Okay, so that fixes that, which means one of these little drones is going to come back over here now and start working for us. And all the more reason to have more of them then. So we can make... Uh, let's see, rockets. We can make three more. And I know we can make more rockets too. I mean, that's not a big deal. Let's just make three more drones for the moment. And... Until we get to the point where we're at capacity, I don't think we need a second drone station. And that's going to save us like over a thousand power. Because we can have this many drones. Uh, what is that? F uh, 25. Yeah. Okay. So. And they took, they took off as soon as I made them. And they're heading that way. See, they're all purple looking. That's probably just the game's way of reducing the distance rendering to save on frames and stuff. Yeah, I don't think we need the other drone station, guys. I really don't. I think we're good uh, just with this one Un until and unless we get to the point where we need more than 25 drones, of course. Cool. All right. Let's do a save. We're at 45% there. Okay, they're starting to bring more uranium over here now. Don't see any of the other stuff yet. Yeah, let's just take this down altogether. I don't believe we need it. Put that a little more in the center of the of the thingy there. Probably right there. Okay, none of them have pulled from you. You are a supplier 
of only nitrogen because the auto extractor can pull the methane out directly. Right, okay, so that should be set up correctly. So this tells us a drone is on its way with more uranium. So we have three more circuit boards. Let's make let's make three more drones. But we're going to have to uh, also make the rockets for that too. Um what does it take to make a circuit board? Okay, that's not terribly expensive. So I think we're going to burn all of our circuit boards on eight more drones. So that means we need to make eight rockets. Uh, let's pin that. So eight iridium rods. Eight supers. I'm actually going to put the circuit boards back in here for the moment. And we have this... Yeah, we have that stuff left over. Let's just put this back. Um, I guess I'll put the fusion cell with the fuses. Not, They're not really the same thing, but, you know. Uh, the fabric, we can just put in overflow all right so now we need eight supers uh, we're gonna have to break down probably two more of those okay, let's grab all of this out of here you know that water machine has been useful from day one and we're still using it the problem with the lakeside water thing is it's at the side of the lake away from the base so it's still handy to have that right outside the front door all right let's put that in there and that one oh no <laughs> that's hilarious okay we got to stop this or it's gonna pull can we tell it not to pull from the recycler? Mm -mm. There's no option there for me to say don't pull from that. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, let's just turn that off then for now. Because it just turned around and undid everything we just did. Silly thing. It was, it's just doing what it's supposed to be doing. We need one of those uh, hand vac things like we have in Pacific Drive to pick all that shit up. There's one piece right. I can't get to it. Um. Maybe. This shouldn't be all the way up against the wall. Is there even a better place for it? Where is it at? There it is. No, that's not really going to work too well. Maybe we could put it right here. Well, no, let's put it back where it was, but we'll just not hold it all the way against the wall. We'll, we'll bring it out a little bit, maybe to about here. That way we can get back here to pick stuff up. All right, back to making rockets. So we need eight um, 
supers. Let's put the aluminum over here. We have five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to need 16 uranium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That ought to do it. Eight rockets coming up. Looks like eight rockets to me. I'm going to stick this nitrogen in here. We need to have some food in our inventory. And let's top off also. All right, so we're done with rockets. Let's unpin that. And now we need eight circuit boards and eight iron. And that should be enough to create eight more drones. Let's go do it. They take off as soon as we create them. All right, so this shows us that we have Oh, okay, so this is the total count, and this tells us who's doing supply and who's currently doing demand. I see. Got some more Terra tokens. Very interesting. Okay. Why do I have drones supplying silk? That is not actually necessary because um, the autocrafter can pull from here directly. Oh, you know what we need, though, is we need a drone delivering these to the rocket, which we do have it as a supply. Do we have the rocket still set up to demand those? Yeah. All right, well, maybe they, they're they just busy doing all the other shit that they haven't gotten around to it yet. That's my guess. And you should also be set up as a supplier. Okay, so yeah, we got a couple drones now that are assigned to that. Um, And one assigned to that. So it's working. They're just all busy going all over the map is the thing. Uh, and they obviously do not use the teleporter. So, yeah, okay. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm trying to fully comprehend this system. It's not a complicated system either. It, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's just, it, it's more like distance traveled and efficiency that I'm just trying to completely wrap my brain around here. So, for example, let's say we have, let me do a save, and let's go into our map. The map tends to crash this game a lot, <laughs> on my system anyway. Uh, okay, so we're over here. Oh, see, it just crashed. Damn it, Jim. Well, I'm glad I saved. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Let's. I, I'm not going to use the map, but let's say we have a drone... That is all the way over at the uranium cave, which is way up in the northwest part of the map. And we're way down in the south central part of the map. Let's say it finishes 
delivering a uranium and then it comes all the way down here to deliver some cloth and then will it go all the way back up to grab another uranium or does the game know to use the drones that are closest to the destination that's what I don't know I don't know how that works um, and it kind of if it doesn't work that way if it's just a completely random thing then it seems to me like the game's solution to that is just throw a shit ton of drones at everything and if that's the way it works that's the way it works um, but it, that's where though I think it would be useful is if we could assign a you're in the way man if we could assign specific drones to specific things to keep them in their area now maybe that's what we, the tier 2 drone does uh, when do those become available to us um, bup, 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 bup. wait don't we have a tier 2 drone I thought we did Okay, not there. Unigen amphibian farm Huli eggs. I guess we don't have a tier two drone. Why was I thinking we had a tier two drone? Maybe we do in one O, and I just saw that in the patch notes. Okay, so I guess we don't have tier two drones right now. Um so it does seem to me like the solution is to just throw as many drones as you can at everything and if that is indeed the case then it kind of makes sense to just make 25 drones you know uh, let's go back to here and see we, what's happening it's working guys look at that we already have produced automatically produced four pulsar crystals <laughs> that is so freaking cool I love it I love it okay yeah we're working um, but we definitely need more storage and because we have drones traveling back and forth from our main base to here we may as well bring the pulsar crystals back to the main base uh, and for that matter the nitrogen there's no reason to keep those two things here what's going on over here okay so the drones should be pulling the nitrogen out of here to give this an opportunity to make more methane and maybe we should build a uh, you know a couple three more of these too um all right so here's what we're gonna do we are going to set up a storage back at the base to receive the pulsar qu uh, crystals crystals the pulsar crystals we're gonna tell this not to demand pulsars or oh shit i can't remove an individual one Uh, really? What the hell, man? Hmm. Well, I guess we could keep using this as a buffer for these. But then make them also be a supplier. of nitrogen and pulsar no I don't think we want to do that though because we only I think we only want our final storage because this is our final product and this we're just doing because we want to get it out of the way I think we only want one place demanding this, the, the final, you know, because it's not like a, a chain that requires, we haven't set anything up to use this as, a, as an input. Right, okay, so let's, let's re remove that. And, oh. How did those disappear from there? was 
weird. I mean, I clicked on them, but they didn't... Here, let's click on this iridium and close it and then open it up again. No, it's still there. I don't know. That is weird. It had something to do with us adding it as a supply and then... Oh, I know what happened. I know what happened. When we deleted it, it deleted everything. That's kind of a... a, a wonky. <laughs> That's the word. Wonky way to do that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab what's currently in here of nitrogen and pulsars. Out of there. And we're going to go back to the base and set up a... Because this is no longer demanding those, right? Yeah, it isn't. Okay. We're going to go back and set up a... Um, a storage to receive the pulsar crystals. Right. Okay. And, well, we should probably do the same thing for the nitrogen then, too. Um, and we want those... Where do we want those to go? Oh, I gotta put that stuff away. You know what I think I'm gonna actually do is... Let's take... Let's start removing these and replacing them with tier twos. So we're going to take two of those down and I'm going to set up two of these. Oh, okay. So now we're going to have to make circuit boards. All right, let's pin that to two. Oh, that's one of the things we need nitrogen for. You know, we could actually produce these suckers and sell them too. I mean, they're 25 tokens. Um, I don't know that I'll do that in that series, but that's definitely something we could think of for, for season two. Um, but I never say never either. So let's just kind of play that one by ear. Anyway, we need, uh, one circuit board per storage. So we need to make two circuit boards. So we're going to need two silicon, two aluminum, uh, silicon, aluminum, Uh, two Zeos, and we're gonna have to make some plastic. I my my brain is just in overdrive right now, thinking about all of the production chains we could set up and how fun that's gonna be in uh, in season two. You know, <laughs> it's just oh man, I'm having so much fun with this game. Okay, we're gonna need shrooms. We might as well pick these two. Eggplant go in there, grab an extra mushroom out of here. We're going to need two more silicon and some water. Since we got to run back out this way anyways, we'll grab some water out of, out of the water, dude. Uh, what are we doing? We're making two bioplastics. That's what we're doing. We need to drink one of those, too. Okay, so we should have enough stuff to make two circuit boards. And then we just need two supers. Well, four supers, actually. Let's unpin you. Okay, so we're going to put you there and you there. You're going to be Pulsar. Uh, pulsar crystals. You're going to be nitrogen canisters. Okay, so let's set you up to demand nitrogen. And we'll set you up to demand uh, pulsar quartz. Yeah, pulsar quartz, not pulsar crystals. What's the matter with me? 
Don't answer that question. Okay, so that means then that um, let's do something else too. Let's go back here and tell you Oh, that's right. I forgot these things also produce oxygen. Okay, so you, that means you supply uh, magnetar quartz. What the hell is that? Blazar quartz. I, I haven't even run into those things yet. Okay, you supply nitrogen and you supply oxygen. So that way the drones will also clear this guy out so we can you know, uh, give methane a chance. Um, you demand oxygen. And we may have to um, build a, you know, a, a tier two for that too at some point. Uh, the oxygen do doesn't seem to be produced a lot. Not like the nitrogen and the methane is. And we need to go back to here. Let's do a game save. And we need to do the same thing with you. You need to supply oxygen as well. So that way you get it, you know, they clear it, clear it out of the thing. Okay. How are we doing here? Oh, this is already full. Uh, no, 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 don't do that. What the hell, man? I wanted to sort it. Drone's on its way to pull that out of there. So now I'm thinking uh, we probably need separate storage for each of the four ores. Yeah, I think we do. I think we need separate storage for each of the four ores. And I also think that we need to make some more gas extractors too since I have no control over make, you know having it make methane specifically so here's what's going to happen let's go back to the main base okay we are at 49% of the way to amphibians what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to max out our drones at 25 uh, so we need to make another eight drones i'm going to make separate t2 storage bins for each of the four ores back at the pulsar production and i'm going to set down some more uh, probably two to three more gas um machines to, to try and boost the methane production a little bit more. That's what we'll do for, um, you know, for our production chain. Now, for our terraforming, what I want to do is I want... What did we just unlock? Oh, right. We got to do the portal generator. Completely forgot about that. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so we'll do this in the next episode. We'll 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 play around with that in the next episode. And um And I want to get to this gas extractor. So I'm going to do I'm going to increase plants uh some more. So we'll probably plant some more tier 3 uh tree spreaders. That's probably the best thing we can do for plants to try and get this unlocked. But we're not too we're not too far off of that though. We're getting close to it. Cool. All right. Yeah. So that is it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting very, very close to the end of this series. Um. So yeah, I, I don't know how many more episodes we'll have, but um, I'm not planning on too many more. We got ooh fish tilo eggs. You know what we might need to do here is create a new aquarium. So I'll do that as well. Let's see what the Tilo eggs look like before I let you go. Uh, we'll pull out the crumbs. 
and put the telos in. Oh, that's the same as those guys. Okay, never mind. Um, let's let's keep the croms in there for variety, even though the telos are gonna be better for production. But I'll set up another aquarium, and maybe we'll ooh, we got this stuff here, don't we? It wasn't letting me put the aquarium in these corners, but I'll, I'll mess with that and I'll see what I can do with it. Anyway, all right, that's it for this episode. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. We'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. I'm going to get some beans because I'm hungry.